How's it going everyone? Welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. One of my favourite games that I've ever played and I have completed it. I've completed it three or four times I think. But I just thought this game is perfect for this channel because the story and the gameplay are utterly wonderful. So for those of you who are seeing this game for the first time, I'm going to say nothing about it because I don't want to spoil what happens. I don't want to give you any clues of where we're going to go to. Treat it as if it's the first time that I'm playing it because yeah, the game really surprised me in a lot of different ways. Here we go. Going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. The house is awesome. Like, the house is awesome. Look at that. I mean, it, does it give you Resident Evil 7 vibes? I think everything gives me Resident Evil 7 vibes, you know? That game has impacted me far too much. I don't trust things anymore. But yeah, the, the forest, the chain link fence. Someone had put up a chain link fence but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. No, that feels like it might have been done a couple of times. But then also, look at that house. Are you not going to go and explore that? My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Ah, so I think that actually ties into another game, which I haven't played on this channel just yet. But um, maybe, maybe we'll explore that, if that's something that you'd like to see. That is a game that I haven't finished. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh, look, it looks so pretty. Wow. Look at even the letterbox. I mean, my word. If you're going to build a house, build it like this. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent. Whoops. Open immediately. We might get into trouble. They're going to come and repossess that. We'll take your shed. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. oh. Look at that! Look at the way the letters scattered. What a lovely, lovely little detail. Man, I'd like, can you imagine having your own river where you live? In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to now, bring me back. Now, now. We've reached a fork. Do we go left or do we go right? I know which way I went the first time, but I know which way I didn't go, obviously. <laughs> but I know what's up the way that I didn't go. Hmm. I think... Let's go the other way. Let's go the Finchers. Down there is a lovely little wooded area, though, which is the way that I went the first time. Man, I think the vibes from... I wouldn't have driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hoof prints? I think... It sort of gives you vibes that it could, that it could be scary, doesn't it? I'll tell you now, I'll spoil it. It isn't. Except for this one bit. Not this one bit. This is pretty. There's some more hoof prints being made. Thank you for the hoof prints. Well, they're there in my imagination. Thank you anyway. The truth is... Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. I mean, I understand why. And now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks so good. Every time I'm impressed. Just, it's so wild. Look at the tree holding everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I couldn't personally leave this house if I lived there. I would have got it just the way I wanted to, I think. Looking at that. Can we have a look in the... Uh... No. We can't have a look in the trunk. That truck is probably a little bit beyond repair at this point anyway. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Yeah. You ain't going to forget that house anytime soon. Or what lays around it. We're not going to comment on that. <laughs> I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. It's a little bit of a, a rough thing to say. Also, if I was six and heard that, I would absolutely believe it to be true that that dragon was then going to kill me. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. 
Oh, don't be scared. Um, it's, 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 it's a fine house. Well, they just had to chime in, didn't they? Let's have a little peep through here. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Wow. Yeah, games like this, games that just like start drip feeding you from the very beginning with just how many secrets are there to find. I love secrets. In fact, I love secrets in like old houses as well. That, that for me, you could do that story a thousand times and just drip feed like little extra things in there. And I would never get bored. I heard something moving around in the garage. Now. <laughs> now. I remember the first time I played this game. I heard that noise. And I haven't heard it any other time since. I don't know what that is. I remember the first time that I heard it. That was it for me. I was like, well, I'm not going in there then, am I? And then I was on full alert the whole time. What, what is that? I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. It didn't. I should say, for anyone who's new to this channel, I don't 100% things. So there's a good chance that I'm not going to find absolutely everything that there is to do. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a good go. I know some nice places to look and I'll probably spend some time in my favourite places a little bit longer than I should. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just go from start to finish as naturally as I can remember doing the first time. I don't. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Yeah. It was, the door was much bigger back then. Um, oh man, and then yeah, I just love all the details from the outset of how much stuff there is to look at all over this house. It feels a little Res 7, doesn't it? It's not just me. I refuse to believe that it's just me that thinks that. Ooh. Is that a, is that a something? Is that a something? This is something I've- First time in years. Oh, it's, it's the friggin' door, you idiot. Ah, I thought this was the door. I saw this white thing. The power had been turned off the night we left. I felt but... like I was home. Oh, there's so much stuff. Yeah, so I know a lot of people have like mixed thoughts on like walking simulators. But if they're like this and the story is so good. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Why why wouldn't you want to play it? It's so interesting to me. Oh. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. I mean that that is a that's an unhealthy amount of salmon. I'm not even sure the sea has that much salmon. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Where does it say that? There it goes. <laughs> Dunno, I mean, I, I've seen worse. <laughs> that's not a comment on what's outside of this frame, by the way. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh. So how long is it since I've been back here, did she say? Has she already said that? We've done very well not to get rats if there if there's like food just left on the table. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. I know what you mean. You do you do enjoy books. The fireplace had a story. Oh wait. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Wait, wait, wait. That text transition has stuck with me since I've played this game the first time. Just all disappears up the chimney. Mm. Mwah! Chef's kiss! Chef's kiss for that little detail. Man, so all these photos and... They all look, like, fairly real, don't they? I wonder if they are actually people. Like, I wonder if it's, like, the people who worked on the game or... Could be. Could be. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, the key doesn't fit. Perfect. Can we play some tunes? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. 
He built the house and this music box. I mean, Great Grandpa Sven is very good with his hands. It's so cool. Sven had far too many good ideas. Is this where we... Yeah, we come from there. It's dark. I don't trust it. Even having played it before, I don't trust it. I don't trust anything. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Edie mm. told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. I mean, I think they could rethink their words on occasion. You know, the dragon killed your granddad. All your family members are buried in the library. <laughs> After I, I don't want to come back to this house. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. I mean, it sounds like it was a pretty um, difficult relationship if you don't even agree with what the doors should be doing. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. So I think you'll become aware of a theme as well that a lot of the people that we come to find out about, learn about, are no longer with us, which is, you know... Very sad. Molly, didn't she call the cat Molly? Is Molly the cat or is Molly that person and it's a reference to both or? I don't know. Ooh. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. I mean, yeah. You had a movie star living with you. My friend Bigfoot. That's pretty cool. Katie's father Odin built the original house. Odin. Odin and Sven, like, that's a, that's a good, strong name. <laughs> Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. I mean, you can see my friend Bigfoot down there as well, which... I think if I was young, that would scare the absolute crap out of me having that in my bedroom. Imagine turning the light out and just having that at the foot of your bed. No, 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 no. I, I don't mind my Mom sleep, thanks. must have thanks. Third floor stairs on the night we left. All these doors are locked. What does this key do? Did we look in there? The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh man, like going back to places from your childhood, like houses that you haven't revisited, I wonder if it, is it the same as what's in your memory? Because I but think your memory has- spent seven years sharing your room with his dead brother, Calvin. <laughs> Maybe all the family could learn a thing or two about rephrasing what they say. <laughs> she doesn't mean literally. I don't think. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. I hope they don't. I'm not aware of them. And I'd like to keep it that way, <laughs> if that is the case. Let's go in here. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I mean, yeah. Look at I it. think it's my like... mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. You can't seal this one up. Look at it. It's, it's like being under the sea. That's perfect. It's got the big train on the wall. I will say, if you play this game, it's absolute worth playing it a second it time round. There were secret passages, but I never believed him. Because you will come to learn lots of little things that you don't pick up on the first time. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Rewatch this again, and you'll know exactly why I just said that at this point. Turns out. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. And this is where the game just went from... It was probably already like a 7 or an 8. Now but this just made it a 10. I was like, oh my god, here we go, yeah. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh man, I love a house just like filled with little corridors and climb through paths. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Can we? No, we can't look through from that side. And it'd make everything small, would it? Maybe? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. I mean, that is absolutely, utterly, unendingly adorable. Inside for the first time? I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah, I guess so, because if you've only ever seen it through that one little frame, oh, the little owl mask, is it like what? 
Oh, there's an owl mask and rabbit masks. Cool. Very cool. And then a jellyfish on the bed. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm loving all the little details. <laughs> it's really cool. Let's go through her personal diary December as fast as possible. 15th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. I love the little lamp. Okay, so yeah, the game, as we can see, tells us about the, the Finch family through flashbacks. Um, and we get to find out all their interesting little details. The, the gerbil, gerbil food. food is dry, but I didn't mind it. I... Is that more food in that bowl? Is it though? <laughs> I don't ah, think you should be eating that. But I'm pretty fucking hungry. And I'm eating shit encrusted gerbil food. Which is pretty bad. I thought about eating Christopher, but I Don't eat that. Christopher. Christopher is doing his own thing. Christopher's fine just being his little fishy self. If we could refrain. Wow. Wow, look at outside. I'm so small. Oh, I never realised that the camera's lower down. It's like sink high. I kept eating and eating. Mmm. Oh, that's far too much. That's like a whole fucking tube. <laughs> I get that you're hungry, but a whole tube of toothpaste. Well, let's just drink the whole toilet while we're at it. Um, did you ever used to eat toothpaste? No one does that, right? No one would ever do that. I ate a lot of things that night. Yeah, you did. Don't do that. Public public message. Um, public warning message. Don't eat holly berries. That ain't a good idea. Then I heard it, eat the toothpaste, the if anything. A chirping. Let's go investigate it was a, a chirping. swallow going back to her nest. Hello, barn swallow. Hello, starfish, who I just noticed. Good grief. I reached out for her. Hello, barn swallow. And suddenly... I was a cat. <laughs> and now we're a cat. <laughs> Did you expect that the first time that you played this game? Because <laughs> I sure as shit didn't. Let's get after that barn swallow, shall we? We're pretty hungry. Let's, I mean, the I game is very kind. The bird is really scared. I, I mean, she's been chased by a predator. A predator who can't quite figure out how, how to jump. There we go. <laughs> We're being outfoxed. We're being outfoxed by this barn swallow. Oh, I, I thought I'd freaking caught it then. We're purring. Mom this cat's got the best house to explore. Are they in there? Oh, they are in there. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. I don't remember seeing many, if any, or a lot of other people in this game. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just have a little, little look. Little look around. Can I walk along that? We're getting close. This seems precarious. <laughs> The cat's getting pissed. The cat's getting pissy. I could tell Ooh. she was getting really tired. I mean, yeah. If she just flew to... Well, actually, I was about to say fly to somewhere like that we can't get to. I'm pretty sure that's what she just did. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. But he, All I cared about was eating that mama bird. We might have made that promise, but I guess we also never promised that we wouldn't transform into a cat either, so... Promises can be broken. I gobbled her up. No! Oh, the barn swallow. And suddenly, I was an owl. But we didn't fall to our death. First, all I heard was the wind. An owl, like on the and door, I, the masks. Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Little teeth. Can we see any little teeth? I don't want to find teeth. <laughs> nibble, nibble, nibble. I can hear them. Rabbits. Rabbits. 
Hello. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Gross. <laughs> That sounds wonderful in the headphones. <laughs> Good grief. Um, yeah, I haven't played this with headphones on before, so the music sounds wonderful. The old rabbit notch you don't sound great. A mama rabbit? Oh no. Sorry. She was almost too big to carry. Too big to eat in one go, I imagine, as well. The natural conclusion. The natural animal of the tree. <laughs> the, uh, we, we thrive on land. Let's just give it the old um, back in the sea one too. I don't think that this shard would survive any of this. The, the trauma we've received I alone. Up cliff and into the ocean. Now, Splash! I was hungrier than ever. I mean, you do eat a lot. Maybe, maybe it was the toothpaste that whetted our appetite. Well, this whole area gets my seal of approval. Juicy seals. Fat juicy seals. They're the best kind of seals. Oh, but it evades me. It evades my skill set. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to. I don't think it's meant to evade my skill set quite so much. I oh, I feel bad. I, we, really no, we tore off a flipper. Oh, goodness. I, I think the flipper might still be there. That's okay. It's, it's not my... We're eating too much. We're gonna get a stitch. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Everything has changed. Now what are we eating? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we're this thing. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. What do I know this song from? Like, I, I feel like it's a classic song, but it reminds me of another game. Maybe? Is it Bioshock Infinite? I recognise it from another game, I'm sure I do. It's suitably creepy for, um... For what we currently are. Whatever the hell that is. I was big, and I real quiet. Oh yeah, we'll go stealth. We'll play stealth mode. Hello! I'm gonna sneak inside and eat you because I'm pretty starving. I think there's an achievement for letting this guy just go about his day, you know? Let him finish his song. But, you know, I'm pretty hungry. We've got places to do. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry! Let me gobble you up! Clothes and all! Aye aye, Captain! Hello! Don't worry. Um, I. Mm. Still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Let's go. What is it? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. It looks like a very delicious old pipe, doesn't it? I'm sure everything in here smells perfect. Perfect and tasty. Case in point, we're coming out of a toilet. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, there we go. I think I recognise this toilet as well. I got closer and closer. We're in our room. What are we smelling? Is it Christopher? Is he smelling a bit fishy? My stomach started growling. How many stomachs do we have? And suddenly, that was me again. Oh no. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I don't think I'd cope right. well with a dream like this. Sleep. If it but is a dream. It's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. 
That's creepy as all hell. Oh no! I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. There we go, the first part of the family tree is filled in. What what do we take from that little story? I think probably my interpretation would be Holly berries are poisonous. If you eat those, that's not gonna end well. So I guess that's what must have happened to Molly. She ate the holly berries and then was she hallucinating or something while she was asleep? And then I'm in two minds as to what the the thing was that needed to feed. But yeah, I think that must have been the end to Molly's story right there. I, I'll tell you now, they, it doesn't get much perkier than that. And some of them get really quite sad. But it's so interesting, isn't it? And it's so, I think it's so well done the way that it tells these extra stories in and amongst the one that we're already playing. But yeah, I think that serves as a perfect introduction to this game and what this game is all about and sort of where it's going to go. So I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you had a lot of fun. If not, thank you for joining me anyway, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.